Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see support ticket in SAP MM. It's actually tax tax calculation error in uh, MM, MIRO, in invoice verification or vendor invoice. They call it as a vendor invoice. So the error is, error is tax statement item missing in tax code Y1. Tax calculation error in the transaction port MIR. Let's go to the system and let's try to replicate the error. Let me create a <coughs> purchase order, ME21N. I'm creating a purchase order. Let me enter purchase organization, DN01 is the purchase organization. Enter the material. Enter plant DN01. Enter the quantity, 10 quantities. Let me enter the storage location, DN01 is my storage location, raw material storage location. Now let me save this. Save. <coughs> let me take this purchase order number. Let me do goods receipt and invoice certification. Next is slash and MI GO. MI GO. Enter the purchase order number here. Press enter. Let me scroll down. Item OK and post it and save it. Now let me go to slash and MIRO. MIR, vendor, vendor invoice or invoice certification. Let me enter the invoice date. Tax, let me enter the tax, input tax. Y1 is my input tax. Calculate tax. Enter the purchase order number here. This is the purchase order. Press enter. See here, tax is not being calculated. Okay, 6,500. I'm going to post it here. 6500. Let me try to post it. Baseline date. Enter the baseline date. Press enter. And save it. See here. Invoice document still contains error. See messages. Click on to the messages. Error messages. See here. Tax item. Tax statement item missing for Tax code Y1. Tax code Y1. Tax error. Tax is also not getting calculated. Let me go check the. Let me take this error message. So now Y1. Go to slash and FTXP. Transaction code FTXP. My country is D, Germany. FTXP DE Germany. Continue. See here. Y1 is my ta tax code. Press enter. See here. Everything is there. Tax percentage is there. 5%. Let me click on to the tax accounts. Whether the account is being assigned to it. Tax account. My chart of account is INT. Chart of account is INT. See, tax account is also there. Z0001 is there. Let me take this, copy it, slash and let's come on. This is correct. Now this is correct. Go to FS00, GL account, FS00, GL account. Let me search for the find. Let me search for the GL account. Okay. See here, it is available. Input tax, GL account. It is available. It's available. See here? Balance sheet account. It's a balance sheet account. It's an asset. Input tax is asset. Now go to go to control data. Euro or local balances and local currency only. Everything is available. Posting date. Sort key is triple zero one. And the field, field status group is G001. So everything is available. Everything is available. So this is also correct. Now let me go to SPRO settings and let me check the condition type. SPRO 
transaction code SAP reference IMG. Go to financial accounting. Go to financial accounting global settings. Go to tax on sales and purchases. Go to basic settings. And then assign country to tax procedure. Let me check that. What is the tax calculation procedure? Position D. D is my procedure. Is the country. Tax one is my procedure. Calculation procedure, tax one. Let me go to tax one. Check the calculation procedure. Click on to the third one. See here, this is the tax one. Double A, M W V one, M W V two, M W V three, all the three, and finally, the tax will be create will be calculated from B A S B, B A S B, base of. First, let me check the B A S B transaction, B A S B condition type, condition type B A S B. Let me check the condition B A S B. Come back, B A S B. Position condition type B A S B. Double click onto this line item B A S B. So the access sequence is M W S T. This is the problem M W S T. We have to delete this. We don't want this. Someone has typed M W S T to pick up the data access sequence. We don't want this because we are not going to calculate the based on based on the Condition type, we are not going to calculate it. So we don't need this. Now let me save this and do POGR and invoice and check it. Let me test it. So now it will be okay. Come back. So the problem here is, this is the BASB. They have added a MWST. Position BASB. In the condition type, they have added access sequence, which no longer needed. Previously, it was M MWST. Now I have deleted it. Now come back. Now let me do purchase order, goods receipt, and invoice verification. Go to ME21N. Let me create a purchase order. ME21N. Enter the supplier details, header details, purchase organization material. Let me enter the material. Enter the plant, quantity, purchase order quantity, storage location, and save it. Save it. Save. Now let me take this purchase order number. Purchase order number. Go to slash and MIG. We go. We go. Enter purchase order number here. Item OK, scroll down, item OK, post, and post. Now let me go to slash and MIRO. Now it will be OK. MIRO, vendor invoice or invoice. Enter the invoice date. We enter taxes, calculate tax. Enter the PO number. See it, tax has been calculated. Let me enter this balance amount 7150. 7150. Enter baseline date. And let me save this. Now it is, it'll, you won't be getting any error. So this is what the error is. And this, this was a high, uh, they have posted critical ticket because we are not able to post the vendor invoice. Thank you.